Suzanne? Hello, mommy. Welcome back from school. Thank you, mommy. How was it? Well, mommy, do you know that there is a new child at my school? He is in my class. And do you know that he is a boy? Susie, is there anything wrong with being a boy? No, no. We have other boys in my school. And in my class, there are 10 boys. Okay. But, mommy, do you know that the new boy doesn't know how to speak properly? He doesn't even know how to add numbers. And after break, the teacher asked him to make the sound P. But he didn't know. Susie, all people are different and special. God made us different from each other and gave us different unique abilities. But mommy, even those who don't speak properly. Definitely. For example, Susan, you are good at numbers, right? Yes. And you're I'm... also good at sounds, right? Yes. I'm always the best in my class. That's great. I'm so happy for you. But are you that good at drawing? Um, not really. Well? And the teacher said I should make more practice. It's John Mark who is always winning at drawing. Does that mean that God does not love you or that you're not special? Of course not. <laughs> you're very funny, mommy. See, Susie, some people are tall, others are short, some are big and others are small. Some children can do some things that others cannot. But God made all of us in his image and he loves us. I get it. Like the new boy in my class. By the way, his name is Henry. That's correct. The Bible tells us in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Oh yeah, I remember that verse from my values education class. Thank you for reminding me this truth, mom. Yes, God made us all special and unique, including Henry. So, would you love to be friends with him? Absolutely. And I will teach him the truth song that teacher Lynn taught us. That will be very kind. All right, let's go now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>